What is going on guys, it's your boy KMac here, and I've been coming across a lot of information lately about the Xbox 720, the PS4, the OUYA, and the Steam Box. So I thought to myself, why not make like a little series where I talk about, you know, all of these individually and break them down and see what we do know, what we don't know, um, what we can expect to see, when we can expect to see it. You know, just break every one of them down. We're going to start off today with the Xbox 720, uh, some things about it, a lot of people have been questioning whether it is or isn't actually coming out and I found that the there's a complete lack of lack of AAA titles uh, if you look at the slate for the next year's Christmas season which should be the biggest time of the year for AAA titles to be you know be released it should be announced for that part of the year like always you know the November the Call of Duties and the Halos were released this year there's nothing there's nothing there's nothing there at all and that is because you know they're putting a kibosh on it. They're putting a, like a silence order on everything that has to do with the 720 right now. So they haven't released any information about any games or anything about it. But uh, they're all keeping it a secret. So that that leads me to believe that it is coming out next year around Christmas, probably in November. You know, that's what everyone seems to be agreed on. Also, um, Disney has actually kind of broken the silence a little bit. Disney has announced that they are going to announce their first Xbox 720 game sometime this month. Actually, in a couple days, I think. I'm not too sure on the exact date, but January 2013, they said they're making some sort of announcement. So, um, be looking forward to that. Uh, some other games, I think, that might be a release, or not a release, a launch title for it. There might be another Halo game. Uh, not sure. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't put your you know your bet on it. I would I kind of actually doubt it. But it would be cool if they could get another one out. I doubt it. Those games take years and years and years, and they just had one come out the previous year, so I doubt it. But it'd be cool. Obviously, you're looking at your Call of Duty caught title that comes out yearly. It's probably gonna be Modern Warfare 4. That's probably gonna be a launch title available for it. I don't know. Maybe they'll have some kind of new. Uh, new new shooter I don't know maybe we'll see um, so it's rumored to be uh, two to three hundred dollars cost wise uh, it's not confirmed obviously it's subject to change but uh, not too bad for a new council I mean they do sell the councils at a loss um, that's what most companies do that their business model is to sell their uh, councils at a loss and then subsidize it with games and services and add-ons and DLC so that's where they make their real money so um, yeah, you can and also you can continue to see uh, paying for online services. Uh, Xbox is always going to have Xbox Live be paid for. They're never going to switch to like a PS4 where it is free. Um, one big thing that is a, a huge change and it could change the way you buy games and sell games is they are no longer doing the used games model. Like they are going to do like certain games. I know Battlefield and. Assassin's Creed, you have to have a code to play them uh, that comes in the box, and once you don't have the code, the disc is pretty much useless. You either have to spend ten dollars to buy another code, or get a new disc, and with the code, it already works. Uh, basically, they are trying to eliminate people reselling games and cutting them out of people buying the games themselves from directly from the company, so they make money. Uh, I don't know if I really like this or not. Uh, kind of makes me mad, actually, because I go to GameStop all the time and trade in games. Uh, granted, the GameStop doesn't give you the best prices and get you, what you exactly what you want. It is an option, and I do like having that option to buy something and then have the right to sell something, rather than, you know, I can sell the actual disc, but the disc is useless because you have to buy a $20 code now. I don't know how I feel about that, but I don't really buy too many used games. It won't really affect me all that much. I guess I can live with it. I'm not upset about it too much. But uh, I'm not thrilled with it. Some other things, it's been rumored to have 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is a huge step up. The actual amount of gigabytes it has on the 360 and a PS3, I think, are rumored to have, I think, a half a gigabyte of RAM. Don't quote me on that. I'm not real sure. I'm not real big on PC specs and whatnot. But 8 gigabytes of RAM is an ass load. That is a lot. And I cannot wait to see what this thing can do. Also, it's supposed to have an 8000 mobile series ATI CPU. Uh, again, doesn't really mean a whole lot to me. I know it's way better than the thing inside of a, anything that's current, but um, it isn't, from what I've heard, it isn't top, top, top of the line. It's pretty high up there. It will be competitive with some gaming computers or, you know, PCs uh, currently, but it won't 
you know, PC technology takes doubles in a year and a half, so it won't be the top, top of the line for very long, but it'll be competitive and it'll be much, much better. And actually, um, if you guys don't know, current systems don't actually run in true 720 or 1080p. They run in like a 560, I think it's called, a 560, but it's upscaled. These will actually run in true 1080p, and it's going to look beautiful compared to what you play in today. You think it's 1080p, it's really, ki it kind of is, but at the same time it's not. It's been upscaled, it's been stretched, it's not true 1080p. The new systems, all of them, I've, what I've been hearing, PS4, Steambox, and the Xbox 720, and the Unia, are all going to run true 1080p, and it's all going to look beautiful. And I cannot wait for that, because games like Battlefield and the new ones and all those games are just going to look so, so much better. Uh, some things I've been hearing, um, I'm hearing that they are ditching the HD player and going to Blu-ray finally. That is not confirmed. I'm, I'm, this, these are all rumors. But uh, that would be awesome. That would be awesome, awesome, awesome if they went to Blu-ray because everyone knows that HD videos or whatever they have now is dead and that Blu-ray is, in fact, the way of the future. But um, to do so, they have to... To every Blu-ray player you make, you have to pay Sony, their like biggest competitor. You have to pay them right to use their technology. So I don't know if they will do that or they'll stick, you know, just try and stick it to Sony and not use their technology. I'm not sure on that. Hopefully they do. Uh, some other things. Uh, like I went over the used games. Uh, cannot wait for this, guys. Next year is going to be crazy, crazy, crazy with all these systems coming out. Uh, I think the... Valve Steam Box is slated to come out in early 2013, then the Xbox 720 around Christmas, and then the PS4 early 2014 is what they're saying for that. Um, not real sure on the Ouya. Uh, maybe maybe it'll be around the same time. Uh, definitely in the next year or two on the Ouya. I'm not sure. I'll do more research on that one for that video. But uh, that's pretty much all I have for this video, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys could leave me a comment. Tell me you know, if you guys have heard something different rumors you guys have heard you know anything like that tell me what you guys have heard what you guys think uh, tell me which system you guys are gonna get tell me which one you guys are preferred um, I personally prefer Xbox over to the PS3 but that, that all might change it all might change I'm I don't know I might have to get my hands on these systems and see which one I like best but I'm obviously gonna buy the 720 uh, it's not very pricey compared to other systems that are coming out around the same time but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said Leave me a like, leave me a comment, and that's it guys. As always, game the fuck on. Until next time, peace out. Alright, if you guys are new around here, you guys can feel free to subscribe for plenty more of these videos. I'll be making the video on the PS4 and the Unia and the Steam Box in the coming days to make complete this little mini-series. So you guys be looking forward to that and subscribe and uh, have a good day guys. Game the fuck on. Until next time, peace.